Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today you're joining me in Swansea for a miniature overnighter bike packing trip. We've just finished doing the San Helen Way. As you can hear, I've still got that cold because you know it's been like five minutes. But today we are going to head head over to there, the Gower. I've got a little 50 mile route planned and instead of finishing there on the San Helen, I thought we'd go and explore the Gower a little bit more in depth, enjoy the trails, sort of check it out a bit. Um, it should be a lot, lot easier and more rideable and just generally not as epic and mad and crazy descents and steep mountains because, well, there isn't any. It's probably one of the sort of flatter areas of Wales and it should just be a nice way to sort of warm down after the San Helen bikepacking trip. So we've got 50 miles to do. I'm planning to do maybe 20, 25 today, 25 tomorrow. Just gonna go try and get to sort of the south coast of the Gower and find somewhere nice to camp. Hopefully, maybe even with a sea view. That would be epic but the wind is still blowy. Um, so hopefully we can just find somewhere decent. Right, let's, uh, let's go check out the Gower for a little overnighter adventure. Let's go. ones there's my hiker bike good old sandy hiker bike private beach I can't breathe First uh, 10, 15 miles done, and I feel sunburnt. Uh, so yeah, a bit late, but you know, better late than ever. Uh, it's a weird place because you know you're in Wales, but it just doesn't feel like Wales. It feels like it could be, I don't know, like Devon or something. Very, very pretty. Um, not as brutal, not like exactly what you think. When you think of Wales, you think of mountains, you think epic, you think of that, and it's just like beautiful coastal riding. Oh, okay, I'm going to have some uh, pomegranate crush smoothie, because it is hot out here today. Not complaining, I'll take that. Carry on, carry on, cows, carry on. Oh, 
tell you what, they got some nice beaches around here. But, and to be honest, I would actually consider sleeping on one of them. But the wind is coming from there and it's just going to be like too much. So now I got ahead. So I'm up there. I'm in a place called Rossi. I don't know how to pronounce it. All I know is I am cream crackered. But damn, they got some nice beaches in Wales. Look at that. But we've done about halfway, so now I'm just looking for somewhere to camp. It's currently about 6 p.m. So just want to find somewhere. Just out of the wind a bit. It's not gonna rain, so that is all good. Just need to find somewhere out of the wind. Right. Alright guys, so I've set up camp. I cannot find anywhere really out of the wind, so well, I'm gonna just be in the wind. It's not too bad actually, but an absolutely awesome view. This whole sort of area is just like generally quite hard, I think, to really like find somewhere decent to camp. Like there are a bunch of good places, but like with the wind, it's just a bit like, uh, it's annoying. Like on a really nice, sunny, not so windy day, like it, there would actually be quite a few places. Although I do think like a bivy or something would actually probably be better because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite well populated around here. But so far the ride has been like nice, chill. Uh, a few little hiker bikes actually, mainly just like coming up the side of these sort of big hills. And uh, I'm currently just like letting the tent dry out a bit. It's still absolutely soaking from this morning. Not because it was raining this morning, but um, it was just like really cold and morning dew. Right. I'm gonna chill here for a bit. I am gonna have some more smoothie. We've got some sweets as well. And all bourbons. You've got to love the bourbons. Best biscuit ever invented. And uh, I've got a different Ginsters today. I've got a Ginsters Bake Cajun Spice Chicken. I probably won't be able to taste anything. I can't breathe. And uh, we've got about 25 miles, I think, tomorrow. Should be pretty nice. We've got the tailwind. Finally, since leaving North Wales, I have not had a tailwind. So tomorrow, we're gonna have our tailwind. We've worked hard for it. We're gonna get a tailwind for about 20 miles. Right, I'll see you guys bright and early, as always, in the morning. Look at this view. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a little bit sort of grey out here today. Last night, I feel like this trip and the last trip is just how long I can function on no sleep because again, I had a terrible night's sleep. Where I'm camped is actually quite nice. A bit breezy, but it wasn't loud or anything. I just, uh, I just couldn't breathe. <laughs> and then, um, as I finally dozed off, it started to rain, and then that woke me up. So it's just, uh, don't sleep for a week and see how little sleep I can actually function on. Which is getting quite close to the end, I would say. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be final little day of our little bikepacking trip around the Gower. Hopefully it's gonna stay uh, dry. I don't think it's gonna rain, but we have a tailwind, so that is good. We are camping quite high up, which means only one thing. We get to descend back down, hopefully. Oh, all right, I'm gonna get this tent packed up. 
I really just want to sleep all day. <laughs> right, let's do the rest of the bikepacking route in Gower. And it's a good job, I tell you, that this route isn't the craziest, hilliest of the rides because I think it was yesterday. It could have been possibly on San Helen. I'm not even sure. But I was in my granny gear. I was going up a hill and like I'm, my gear just slipped out of it. And I was like, okay, why well, are maybe the I know my chain's a bit stretched, maybe the gear cable's a bit stretched. Okay, whatever. I'll sort it out later. I went to check last night and, well, I managed to um, snap one of the little uh, teeth off my granny gear somehow. So, something I already needed to replace anyway. So it's not like, oh no, I, now I have to replace it. It's like, I need to replace it, now I really have to replace it damn but no granny gear the rest of this ride oh, okay got a little uh, climb to the top here but got a nice tailwind so this is good and uh, hopefully a nice rideable descent there is some um, quite steep descents on this ride guys so I've probably got like 10 miles to go now we're sort of starting to head back towards Swansea super easy super chilled morning nice temperature it's not too hot it's not too cold and a tailwind first tailwind in like over 200 miles now nose is still blocked we're gonna have another one of these uh, Cajun spiced chicken against the bake things because it gave me relief for all of about three minutes last night um, yeah. The route actually tells me to go across here, but this is actually a footpath, and I, I don't know if I can be bothered to do all the hike or bike in, and then just to come out on the same road, that this road just goes around, so I'll probably just do that. And then it looks like we're gonna head onto a cycleway, up a couple bridleways, so I'm gonna chill here for a little bit, just take it easy, uh, and just relax. And then we got like 10 miles to go. Super easy overnight a trip this one and uh, very pretty and just generally very nice the trails flow nicely not too hard not too technical a nice way to end San Helen for sure right food time <laughs> This is a you shall not pass kind of uh, kind of part of the route. Cool. This little section, loads of dirt jumps, and over there, there's a little mountain biker hangout. It says barbecue. It's tempting, nobody's there, but everyone's at work. But yeah, that's cool. 
you might be lucky, you can come down there, have a barbecue and hit some jumps on your bike packing rig. Oh, just hiking up this hill because I'm being lazy to be honest. Just can't be bothered. <laughs> I just cannot be bothered to pedal up anything really. Okay, nearly there. <laughs> Well, there we have it guys, bikepacking the Gower. Beautiful, beautiful place. Totally does not feel like Wales. Totally does not feel as rugged and like crazy as what you like feel like Wales is, but still a nice sort of ride nonetheless. It get a little bit um, boggy towards the end and it was quite hard to sort of find um, the actual trail, but still we made it. So, we have come from north to south and then a little bikepacking trip around the Gower. And uh, I think I've got some sunburn, I think I've got a cold. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep. If you have enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you wanna see more adventures like this one, consider subscribing. Until next time, keep smiling, enjoy the adventure. Peace.